Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Legend of Zelda. Here we go. I know it's been a while. It's it's been a couple days, maybe, maybe just you know. I'm, I'm being a little bit cheeky, but it's been a couple days. Um, what what are we doing? Yep. We're doing something important. We are doing post commentary. No. No, we're doing post commentary. Why did you do this to me? Why? No, we're doing post commentary for a very special reason. It's a s special occasion. <laughs> it's b like arrive back in the worst possible state. I'm trying to remember what the fuck I'm doing because, you know, I I have no idea like I haven't played in it so long, so just I forget everything. But um, you know, you'd think my thoughts would be more collected in post commentary. D that's not true. That's a myth. But um, the reason I've been gone for so long and you know, absolutely no communication for absolutely no reason, I could have put it, like down a note just saying I'm with my sisters. There you go. But I was with my, um, my sisters, they've been here bugging me and just, you know, taking my attention off everything that involves, uh, let's playing, and that's pretty much the reason. And so, you know, and when I had time to, you know, do an episode or two, I was just too tired and just not in the best of moods. I just, just in a very, like, you know, grumpy mood because, like, your sisters are just like, yeah, let's, um... Let's fuck with you. That's what they do. They just, you know, spend all their time fucking with you. Damn. That, that's pretty much been, like, my past month of living. But, here we are. Let's, uh, get back in the game. Let's, let's... What are we doing? What are we doing? So, I thought to myself, Hey, I gotta find a Sages. Because they're important. To the story, apparently. Or so all the people tell me. I don't really agree yet. I'm not really in the agreeing mood. But they are. We gotta find them because of the Master Sword, Gandorf's minions, slayed them. And we gotta find two more sages so that eventually Ganondorf can kill them again. So that's the storyline of the next Zelda 2. The sages are dead, you gotta find two more sages. And then you kind of wonder, it kind of sucks being a sage, you know, because you end, you always end up getting killed. That's like the eventual reality. And if you pay attention here, you can hear the the harp playing, the like handheld harp, mini harp. It's like bing, bing, bing. And how did that come to the conclusion of um, the eventual person we're gonna meet? Uh, she might be called Medley. But see, that, that's the heart right there, the blue one. Why am I pointing at the screen with my finger? You can't see my finger! Why am I doing this? For no reason. And doesn't this strength band look like, uh, the strength, you know, bands look like wedding rings? I've always wondered. But, uh, Medley, uh, you know, the, the little ostrich girl who helped us in our first quest on Dragon Roost Island. She's, uh, spoiler, spoiler, in two minutes, she's the sage. It, w it, it was kind of obvious when I, um, I re-watched re uh, episode, like, 21 and 22, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, when I kind of thought about it. And of course, um, little green guy, little leaf guy, he is, uh, the sage of, uh, wind, or whatever. But we gotta find him, because he's gone. I think it's quest-related. You have to find the earth god, earth sage, uh, first. And then you gotta find, um, the green sage. Kind of weird. I wish they would have done it so you can do it in whatever order you wanted to, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can just do them in whatever order you want, but 
Yep. I at least thought... I came to the conclusion that... You know, the two-minute conclusion that... That was the way this game worked. But here I am, just... Trying to figure out... Yeah, hey, dude, I haven't talked to you. He just wants me to... I don't even know. I hate post-commentary. Post-commentary is so... So, so dumb. So dumb. I hate it. Hate it with every fiber of my being. Like, what do I... I feel, like, so uncomfortable. It's like, what do I say? <laughs> what do I do? Because it's... Like, usually, just... LPing in general is just very reactionary commentary. You, you're just like, oh, this is what happens. You know, you have event A happens, and you just respond to event A. You're like, ah, oh, this guy looks like a, a dork. Haha. -ha. This joke. But then, like, in post-commentary, you're like, I see everything, everything happening. And, what, what, what do I say? What was I even thinking at the time? I don't remember. And it, it was like half an hour ago when I recorded it. But of course, uh, you know, I saved over my Zelda file, like I do, and I saved over my save state, like I do. So, unless you, unless I wanted to, you know, replay the whole game, replay all 21 parts, uh, post commentary or no commentary at all, is the eventual reality. So, I mean, really, that's up to you guys. What well, if? this happens again, just for some reason, maybe, in like, whatever, 10 LPs from now, like one episode, it's just like, oh, I forgot to plug in my mic, even though my mic and my headphone, headphones are, uh, yeah, the same thing, but if that happens again, just like, do you want no commentary, do you want commentary, post-commentary, which is quite, you know, so uncomfortable. But here she is. She's just being a snob. What a snob she is. She's like, la 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 la, come on, least my child. I feel like I accomplished so much. And I'm ready f to be enslaved into being a sage. <laughs> That's the weird thing, though. I think only... It was only... Like, the newer generation? of Zelda's that began, like, with the Sages. I think Ocarina of Time was, like, the first one to, like, involve Sages. I could be wrong, but I think that was it. I think Ocarina of Time. And then, like, all, like, the GameCube games and the Wii games, they also included them. But, like, none of the Game Boy games or the Nin Super Nintendo games, the A Link to the Past, is that a Super Nintendo game? I don't remember. But, um... Those games were, like, no sages at all. You just found a Master Sword, you found Zelda, and then you defeated Ganondorf, and he was always, like, bad guy. I make a smart remark that maybe, uh... They were like sages or, like, related in some possible way. That maybe she's, like, the grand-grand-granddaughter. Of uh, uh, water chick spirit, and I, then I just said evolution is awesome. If that was the case, you go from being a fish to being a bird. Best, best. I want to go from being a human to being a centipede. That's. I hope my grandchild becomes a centipede. That's what I'm saying. And then I can watch him. From the spirit world. And be like, oh, centipede. My grandchild. But yes. And she's like, oh, I'm ready to become a sage. And everyone's just like, why? Why would you become a sage? No one would become a sage. Every sage get, gets, like, killed, and then they need replacement. It's not cool. It's a, it's a 
job with little to no benefits and all of the danger involved. Actually, I, when I think about it, I don't really like the concept of sages in these games. It's kind of just like, meh. They don't really add anything. I mean, I'm the sage of earth, water, fire, wind, death, and light, or whatever. And it's just like, eh. There, there's like little to no background on them, so I mean, I, I just can't like really feel anything about it. It's too bad. It's too bad. That's how I feel about most things. If there's like little to no lore on it, like aside from like, oh, these sages are old and wise, old like these are wise old women and men or children or what the fuck ever, with like the power of their element, their corresponding element. If, if that's like the description you get and you're just supposed to like take that and just, that's it, then I'm like, eh, well, meh. That's like not a, enough lore for me. I, I always, um, maybe that's just because I play too many, too many RPGs and stuff like that, that I've kind of just gotten used to, like, getting all the lore. But, you know, even if I play, like, a first-person shooter and I'm fighting... Let's just take one of the most generic first-person shooters and just say, I'm fighting Russians for some reason. All of the Russians. Or some kind of terrorist organization. Or aliens. We have now covered all the bases. Russians, terrorists, aliens. Boom. And, um... You know, you get, like, you get some some stuff behind it. You get, like, oh, this is their leader. This is why they're doing it. Sometimes you don't even get why they're doing it. You're just being, like, the soldier guy. Who's just like, yeah, I'm fighting. It's cool. But I, I just like some... I just like getting all of the information, just like, I don't care, just blast me with all the information. But you know, leave it, leave it to like, the player, to like, if they want the information or not. Because, you know, some people just play for, just to play, you know, just, just da da da, get this accomplished, da da da, finding all the rupees, all the secrets. I don't really care about the lore, I just want to play. So, that's why I like, like, journals, codex pages. All like these, where you can get all the information, like from uh, like that Bioware usually puts on their games, or like for example, The Witcher 2. The Witcher also does. Yeah, I, I think yeah, just like most RPGs in general, just ha have like a a section just for lore, you know, just for information on. All these um, mystical things, all these even normal things like this is a human. A human is usually between five and six feet tall. They have blonde hair, blue eyes, and they say "sikhail, sikhail" sometimes. But that is a gross, you know, gross generalization. You know, just. You know, Enjoy me going to the wrong temple, by the way. Yeah, there we go. Just... Wrong. You're, do you're doing it wrong. Doing it wrong, Titan. But I think that's my opinion on lore. And I just... I just like getting information. Even then, you know... The kind of this story, I think, I think some people, for example, just, just, this is just Legend of Zelda stuff, that they've tried making, like, a timeline as to, like, where did the first, you know, reincarnation of Link, like, what's the first game, you know, like, timeline-based about of the Legend of Zelda, like, what's the first occasion that Link had to save Zelda, or whatever you want to call it. 
character. And, I mean, it's just such a fragmented game. It's just like, eat just like a parallel universe, kinda-ish. That, that's actually, I think, that, that should be the most acceptable, like, um, you know, conclusion to Link and Legend Zelda. It's just, each is like a parallel dimension, or a parallel world. Like, Zelda gets captured, and Link, and each is just like a different story, you know? Because it'd be kind of freaky if everything was just reincarnation, reincarnation, reincarnation. Every time. And it would just suck. This is it, this is my life. Getting reincarnated. Having to save Zelda again. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. And here I am just being extremely lazy. Not wanting to change the winds. I just sat back and said, you know, fuck it, I'm just gonna put my controller away. But one thing that I would also like to comment on on this game specifically is that while there's this, you know, how to, I mean, there's a lot of places to visit, but the world feels also empty, you know what I mean? There's just not a lot to do, and I think that that's also, as much as I, you know, like, enjoy it and like it, it just feels, like, really empty. It's just, like, the main story, and then... You can do some small quests. Like, I wouldn't even say they're quests, but they're just, like, small things that you, you could do if you want to. And they're really tedious. Like, um... You get the water from the Tree of Life, and then you go to other places and plant the trees, and you're like, hey, woohoo. It's just like, eh. Like, for me, that's just, like, too tedious. I wouldn't want to do that. Or, um that pirate game where you can win pirate rupees or whatever. Like, sink my battleship. It's just like, meh. I know there are just, like, things to take your mind off, like the main quest, but they're just not very interesting. I wish they would have done more to, uh, make it interesting. It all depends on how long the game is. Because I'm already on part... This is gonna be part... 23... So, I mean, the main story is long enough, I guess, but it also has, like, the elements of just being able to, you know, just, you can just go wherever you want to, and it's like an open world, but the open world, there's nothing in the open world that can take your mind off, you know, the, the, main, the main quest, and you can just have fun and just do whatever. Aside from the tedious go from place A to place to place B. And sometimes you can visit your grandma and get polyjuice potions. Even though they're like I don't know. You're getting curry or something. Curry soup. And then you get extra strong. But overall, I, uh... This game's good. I it, it has its moments where you're like, ah. Not the funnest game, but, you know, it's an alright game. And I think it came out in... 2005, or something like that. And I think for, for that time period, this was, like, really good. And even, it does still hold up today, like, with the graphics. The, uh... It, it's not. Is it cell shading? It, well, is, is it? Yeah, I think it is. It's. I don't really know what to call this type of graphics. It's not really. Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe it is, maybe not. But it has the same graphics as like mini ninjas, 
but you could say Mini Ninjas copied this. Whatever you want to say, you know. I really hate when people say copied because this is just, you know, it's whatever. It's like saying every shooter copied each other and took the gray, the gray and brown. There we go. Ugh. Now my mind is just going all, all over the place because now I want to talk about shooters and how they're just all the same. But I won't. I will not. Come on! But yeah, I, I like this uh, art style, graphic style, whatever you want to call it. And also this rewatching all this stuff and doing commentary again. It's just like you you see yourself and all like, why are you so slow? Why can't you see what to do? It's so easy. But I can definitely understand if you don't want me to do post-commentary, or if you do. Maybe if I'm doing post-commentary again, like, I will, um... I, w I will, like, make a list for myself to, like, actually talk about some stuff. And just, like, saying, okay, we're, we're gonna talk about, uh... Future of gaming. You know, people wanna listen to that, have your, uh... Have your clues, and then, uh, people wanna talk about... Take that out. Or uh, make some kind of list. And here, I thought this was really stupid because you get control of her, right? And then you you can see that you gotta hold both, um. Both, uh. You gotta press both button buttons, you know? Have them down to open the door. I got that. That was easy enough. But I couldn't pick Link up. Which was like. Why can't I do this? But then you have to land her, and then you gotta return, and then she'll be like, I can fly, and I can maybe pick you up and fly. And then, th th that was kind of stupid. They should just have allowed me to, like, either pick Link up or, you know, do whatever. Or just introduced both elements at once. So, and so now I'm just like, the fuck do I do? I don't... And see, now I try it again. It's like... It's, it's not working. It's not working. What am I supposed to do here? The direction is really bad. Just like... Uh, yes? I'm feeling a bit more confident. I'm not sure how I can fly while carrying you, but I'll try my best. Yes, yes, I got it. She's also really stupid. She doesn't follow you, and you can't call her from far away. I mean, I guess they didn't want to do any pathfinding, really. And then, yeah, my forest water has become plain water. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Don't care. But, um, yeah, they, ju they just haven't done any pathfinding, so sh she'll just stand there. And she won't come into the next room with you, which you'll see here in a bit. And now I make another mistake. It's just like, oh fuck, why? I thought the A button would like allow me to fly higher, but no, A button is let go, and I didn't really pay attention to that. So mistakes, mistakes, mistakes were made. Apologies were accepted. Do I do it again? No, I don't. At least I'm not the sl and yeah. There we go. Fuck, <laughs> you might say. Fortunately, the command melody is uh, it can it can operate from from afar. So that's good.
But see here, the door is gonna open, I'm gonna go into the next room, and she doesn't follow me. Which I find kind of annoying. And I wish they would just have done that. I mean, maybe she's gonna die, maybe she's not, but... Just, you know... If I have to pick her up all the time and she's just gonna be a useless fucking bird... Then it just is. And here we have learning at my best. Sword not working? Uh, maybe, maybe I should uh, just try swinging a little bit more. So I think that maybe, uh, you know, counter will work. Uh, you know, okay. Well, I'll try swinging my sword again. Maybe if I swing my sword enough, it will work. And yeah, maybe not. So, in my brilliant line of thinking, I'm like, okay, maybe the bow will work. Fire and ice. Maybe I can freeze him. You know, my, my logic, you know, it seems sound. Kinda. I mean, they're like oil thingies, right? I don't see that guy being stoned, by the way, so I'll go to the door for a couple more seconds here. So swing my sword again. Yeah, that, that didn't work before. So, I wouldn't work now. I see. Oh! Stone? Well, nifty. And I'm like, oh, they're all turned to stone. What to do now? Obviously, use a bomb. They're made of stone. Use a bomb, that works. No, no it doesn't. That doesn't make sense. I mean, that's just kind of like... It's really and I forgot how these, the, 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 the cauldrons work, too. They're like, oh, how, how do I open this? But uh, finally, I know how to finish them off. I think I have to turn them into stone and then throw them at each other. But no, I just throw them on the ground and they break. But bombs, of course, they don't work. Makes a lot of sense. No one's complaining here. And that loot orb, that that like an insane amount of like drops just came out of it. But I missed it all. Missed it all. So now I have to get birdie bird. Bird brains up there. And, uh, get her into the next room. And see, she's all the way over there by the entrance. But she can't just automatically come with me to the next room. How annoying. Try to, try to throw her at the invisible chest. And see, here I was just testing uh, if she came with me. If she wasn't, like, on, like, the high platform or something like that. If she was just, you know, on the ground, the same plane as me. But no. And there you go. Oh, I'm like, whoa. Ooh, that's cool. And then I get the brilliant idea of aiming at the chest. I thought that seemed legit. It seemed like a tactic that, uh, game developers would use. And I like these subtle, you know, kind of things that you're just walking along, and then suddenly, boom, you see, like, um... You see that the light shines off her harp, and then it's like, whoa! Something happens! I might have to use this later! And or use this in this very room. And then you're like, legit, that's good. That's good design, 
as we call it. Going to the next room. And then walkie 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 walkie. And then she just flies. She flies everywhere. And I'm like, oh no. I thought it was poison, but it wasn't. It was just It, it it's gas that makes you unable to swing your sword or use any other items. And I'm thinking maybe I can use my shield to deflect the light, reflect. But I can't. It's not a reflective surface. So that is terrible. So, bright idea of, uh, you know, shining the light on the statue thingy. Of course, I'm thinking I have some kind of item that can also reflect the light. But I don't know what what item. Oh, this chair is really creaky. <sighs> it's an old chair. It's breaking apart already. Well, it's not that old. I got it for like Christmas. I just treat my, my chairs like crap, apparently. And it's, it was not, it's not very expensive. It's like... It was like on sale for like 20 bucks or something like that. And it's not very comfortable either. But enough about my chair. Um, so here I'm thinking, oh, maybe I can like, uh, shoot a fire arrow. That's like the sun. No, it's not. No, it's not. So I'm thinking, maybe the telescope will work. That has like a glass, or uh, you know, has like a glass piece on it. But I see the button right there. Of course, I can't swing my uh, my uh, hammer in the no item gas. What kind of gas is that anyway? Is that like a, a gas that's just like... It's so thick that you can't, um... Do anything? <laughs> yeah. what, what's the reasoning behind this? I wanna know. And see, there's also a clue as she spins around. You know, she all the gas just kind of dissipated as the light touched it. So it's some kind of shadow gas. I uh, don't think too deeply about this, it's just a game mechanic. I aim it oh so brilliantly. Not. And I'm like, hey, why, why can't I do this? What is this? What is this? Spend the next two minutes just pondering. Why, the, why, why can't I do this? But it is because I aimed it down. So because the light isn't like touching the gas, it doesn't dissipate. So I just gotta aim it up more. I just gotta aim it across the room, like that. And that should be good. And then I can hammer. No. No. N n hammer. Get out the hammer. Triangle. Press the triangle button. Good, good boy. Good boy, my. Good boy, me. But, um, yep. That's, um, pretty much it for this episode, guys. I am sorry for the. Very sorry for the post commentary. Uh will not have it next time. And I'm also sorry for not updating or getting in touch with you guys. Just telling you that, hey, 
uh, I'm gonna just like, hey, I'm still alive. I, uh, I'm just spending time with my sisters. Uh, I'll do that next time. I promise. I swear. But that won't happen for another half 